All right, well, a man is dead and a woman is in critical condition after shooting in Avon. This happened yesterday afternoon, and police are still trying to piece together what exactly happened with this couple. Carlos Diaz is live at the Avon Police Department with what we know so far. Carlos? Good morning, Julia. As you said, police continue to investigate that shooting that happened here in Avon yesterday, just before 2 p.m. A man and a woman who were dating shot. The man found dead at the scene. Now, the couple was not found at the home that they were renting. They were actually found in front of a neighbor's house across the street from their home. The male victim was confirmed dead, and what police are saying is now a homicide. The female victim was taken to Eskenazi Hospital in critical condition with at least two gunshot wounds. Police say only those two were involved in the shooting. Now the town of Avon is dealing with its first homicide in five years. These things are, are very rare for our community, but they can happen anywhere. You know, our agency prepares and trains. Our community should be, should be at the idea uh, of that. Uh, these things can happen anywhere. Uh, but this is a safe community. Uh, we're, we're very confident that we're not looking for an assailant that has led this scene, fled from this scene. And so that gives us a great deal of comfort. We're not looking for a vehicle or a suspect that may be at large at this point. The police tell us that a person who, the person who found the couple in the neighbor's front yard was actually coming to their house to pick up a TV that that person has bought online. That person was the one who called 911. The neighbors we talked to did not know the couple involved in the shooting. One neighbor told us they saw the woman out shoveling the sidewalk on Saturday after that big snowstorm. They told us, as far as they know, no children lived in the house. Now, we told you the couple was not found at their home. They were found in front of their neighbor's home. Their neighbors were actually home at the time of the shooting, and there were kids inside the house. But neighbors of those neighbors say the kids are doing just fine today. Ben, Julia? Still just really disturbing in such a quiet neighborhood. Many questions left in this one as well. Carlos, thanks for staying on top of it. We'll check back with you in just a bit. Mm -hmm.